Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, I don't know how much more obvious it can be that we are living in the last days and that Jesus Christ is coming at any moment to rapture his church. Good is being called evil. Evil is being called good. Sin is being celebrated and endorsed even by some churches. Our kids and our babies are being subject to drag queens and gender confusion. To sum it up plainly, what we see happening right now all over the world, Jesus said the last days would look exactly like this. What I'm about to share with you guys today, I can't unsee this, folks. I mean, Jesus, again, tells us exactly what the state of the world would be like during the last days, and it's happening before our very eyes right now. But still to be here to witness it, it is absolutely incredible and amazing. This is just in from Prophecy News Watch, a recent article titled, Disney Crosses Dark Line Show to Feature Girl Who Gets Pregnant from Satan. Let me read some of this to you. Disney has announced a new German original series for Disney Plus called Pauline, which is about an 18-year-old teenager who accidentally becomes pregnant from a one-night stand. With school stress, the climate crisis, and the downfall of society weighing heavily on her mind, something she does not need at all right now is catching feelings, especially not for her one-night stand, Lucas, who, as it turns out, is the devil himself. That's right, Disney, which for over half a century has been the undisputed champion of children's content, will be featuring a show on a young teenager, teenage girl, who gets pregnant after a one night stand with Satan. The creators of the show stated that the storyline is close to their heart, which is both true and terrifying. I mean, the amount of stories that are coming out almost on a daily basis now on some of the shows and movies that are out uh, with all sorts of just junk and insanity. I mean, this stuff shouldn't surprise us, but just be aware if you have Disney or Disney Plus and your children are watching Disney Plus, which again, Disney has been uh, the champion for children's content for decades uh, with millions upon millions of our young kids and even infants watching Disney and Disney Plus. You heard that correct. Uh, show coming out called uh, on Disney Plus called Pauline, which is about an 18-year-old daughter uh, who becomes pregnant from Satan himself. I mean, if that story itself doesn't convince you that we are living in the last days, I don't know what will. All I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now and you do not have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says you will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood, on the cross at Calvary, so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified. 
and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin debt that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places. You will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Horrific. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and the only name that can save you. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming. And he's coming at any moment. One day, very, very, very soon at the appointed time. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.